Yo YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Salvations Elite and we are back with another video guys and today man We are talking about Modern Warfare the beta and talking about competitive Call of Duty Now we have an actual look into the game how it feels how it might actually play competitively more than just what we got in the alpha I think we have a pretty good idea of what competitive is going to be like this year and I am excited to talk about it But first I've been taking the last few days a little slow waiting on the roster mania news playing the beta a ton Live streaming as well. So I've been live streaming on my twitch channel Salvation's Elite on Twitch, you guys are seeing here. And I'll also be streaming later tonight, so make sure to be on the lookout for the stream. And we're gonna be doing a lot more streaming in the next few weeks, next few months, Modern Warfare as well. So I, I've been slow on the ball on like the streaming side of things. With that said, community tournament, I'm thinking I wanna do something way different than what we've done so far with the community tournament. I kinda wanna do a Modern Warfare remastered, like SD only tourney or something like that. I think it'd be really fun. If you guys are interested, I'd be down. Finally, with that said, let's hop into the video. So with Modern Warfare 2019, the reboot of the Modern Warfare franchise, I've been pretty impressed with it so far. I'm pretty happy with the state that it's in right now. It's different. The maps are kind of weird, but overall, I think the experience playing the game is pretty solid. For me, it took a while. I would say a day and a half, two days, a lot of hours of playing before I started getting comfortable with the maps, with being able to like figure out where guys normally are. Like what windows guys are normally in, what doorways do I need to be careful about? Because of how the maps are built, as you all know, the clutteriness of the maps, the insane amount of windows, the lack of lanes, it is tough. Anyone who's discouraged in the first few hours of playing, you got to really put more time into it than just a few hours to get used to these maps because there's so much to learn. You know, it's not like frequency on Black Ops 4 where you can play that map once and get a pretty good idea of the whole map. Like the Azir cave map, the freaking massive map that they use for like 20v20 or whatever, the ground war map or whatever it's called. I can't remember what the name of it is, but like those maps have so many different like little nooks and crannies that you can hide in. And the mini map has also been a factor. We're going to talk about all of this stuff. We're going to talk about everything. They did say that in competitive, the mini map is going to be on and assuming that we're going to have like the red dots on the map as well with gunfire. I don't really know how it's going to work. We're at least having the mini map so we can see teammates but yeah before we get into maps i think we should talk about the game modes first because it feels like this game's gonna be hardpoint search and then ctf maybe headquarters and then they, there was that leak about the reverse ctf where you have to take your flag into their base kind of like blitz but like only one person can score we haven't seen hardpoint we haven't seen search we haven't seen ctf we haven't seen the reverse ctf we've only seen headquarters in the beta it, it plays okay i don't think it's going to be competitive though i'd be really surprised if it is but currently it's my favorite mode in the beta because it's the most competitive game mode that's what's really frustrating is they haven't added in any of those game modes i wish they would at least add in one of them for us to get a feel for some of the maps in those styles but but i doubt they're gonna bless us that much so i would assume it feels like it's gonna be a hard point search and ctf game but you know who knows how they go with how the game maps actually play we haven't seen very many maps yet but I think when it comes to the maps, that might be where it goes. I mean, I think SD is going to be a ton of fun in this game mode, though. It's the, my biggest worry so far is like the lack of dead silence as a perk. I know we have it as a field order or whatever it's called. I'm, I'm worried. I know like Advanced Warfare did the same thing. So people are defending it because Advanced Warfare did it with the abilities instead or whatever. But it's just like... I don't know how it's going to play in this game. I'm not confident it's going to play great. We, I'm really excited to actually see us use it because hopefully they hire the level cap high enough at some point during this weekend so we can actually use Dead Silence. But like right now, I'm not convinced that it's going to be like great by any means. And so it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. I think Search and Destroy is going to be awesome. I think it's going to be an amazing game mode though overall. And I just think the guns play out for well the play styles as a whole play out for it and i'm really looking forward to search and destroy this year i think it's gonna be a really really fun year if you like ghost search and destroy if you like modern warfare remastered search and destroy you're gonna love this search and destroy so i'm really excited about that overall for sure just hop into maps off the rip so think about last year like there was in the beta for black ops 4 there were six maps and five of them ended up being competitive this year i'll be surprised if more than one of them maybe two of them are actually used in competitive so i think the azir cave the desert map is it's horrible for like team deathmatch it's horrible for like domination i even would say the spawns on it suck in a lot of ways but i think for like search it, it actually plays really well and for headquarters it plays pretty well so i i feel like hardpoint might be able to be played on that map but i doubt it would be just because of like the weird choke points and how that works with the buildings in the middle lane and everything 
kind of weird. I think for Surge, it could be potentially interesting with how those choke points work and playing for the dominant position. So, so maybe for Surge, but I'm not convinced that it's going to be a competitive map. So then the next map, like the London Docks map, I think it's called like Gun Gun Runner. I think is what it's called. That map, I think could only possibly be used for search I, I wouldn't see it in any other aspect it just seems like the map's kind of like weirdly made where you have the warehouse you got the offices you have the middle lane but it's like you really you're not gonna really play hard point in a map like that are you I don't think so and you're not gonna play maybe like CTF or headquarters is weird on it too so I feel like search is the only one that you actually potentially could play on that map and there's like the train map the uh, hackney yard map I enjoy that map personally. It's my favorite map on the beta. I think it'll play really well for search. It might be a little funky at first, but if the bomb sites are right, I think they'll play really well. They're a little bit more open, a little bit more place to like work with. There's not too many like OP spots where it just feels so broken. So I think that map actually works really well. So I think that's gonna be a fun S and D map. And overall, the maps give you like a you know a modern warfare remastered vibe with how they're created. I think that's kind of what they're going for. But the, the clutteriness, the Modern Warfare 2 vibes too as well, kind of have you know those types of games in mind when, with those maps. Hopefully, so there's maps that play well for Hardpoint, because right now, I don't think any of these maps would play well for Hardpoint. And the massive ground war map, the 20v20 map, the I don't know what it's called again. That map's really not good. I don't know. It, the 20v20 mode plays just really weird. I'm not sure why. It just feels like the spawns are just really funky with how where all of the gunfights go down on the map i'm not sure why you know hopefully we get to see more maps before this beta ends because right now we don't have very many good competitive maps unfortunately or hopefully we only just got the bad maps that are competitive and all the other ones are going to be just fine down the road for the when the game actually launches it's hard to say i mean we really don't know so when it comes to the guns i don't know i don't have too much of an opinion on the guns right now i think the mp5 is probably the best gun in the game right now it just plays the smoothest the fastest by far the fastest out of any of the guns you can play real nice with it i really really like the mp5 overall the other guns are all kind of they're, they're solid they're fine they're good you know like the m4 the m13 they're okay they do their they do their thing you can play with them you can definitely play well with them they're not as much my taste as the mp5 is i think the guns are going to be solid i'm looking forward to seeing how they play out actually in the game overall or as a whole or in competitive and it's going to be really really interesting to see how the competitive meta works out with the gunsmith and how all these attachments come into play which muzzle attachments are we allowed which barrels are we going to be using which sites which sites which stocks you know like it's gonna there's gonna be so much to go through when it comes to like ga's or the metas for competitive so it's probably a good thing that the league doesn't start until whatever like january or whatever because otherwise we'd have a massive meta change in like the first you know few weeks like every few days would be a different meta i feel like so it's probably end up being a good thing i think the last thing we want to talk about quickly is the streaks i think the streaks are fine they're not great they don't get me excited we're probably going to use the cruise missile which is basically the hellstorm like always we're probably going to use the precision airstrike which is basically a lightning strike there's not gonna be too much that's going to change with that i don't think i'm not sure if we're gonna have a third streak this year or not i mean whether they're gonna gam or whatever i don't know because it doesn't feel like any of those streaks really fit into that mold that well but hopefully we do because i think it's more fun with three streaks in, in play overall so we'll see but overall i think i'm really excited for this game competitively i think it's gonna be really really fun i'm not convinced how hard point or how you know ctf's gonna play yet obviously because we haven't seen it we haven't really seen good maps for them yet either so those are the kind of the biggest like hurdles right now if we end up not getting the maps that we really really need for this game and it'll be really really frustrating but at this point i'm gonna stay pretty optimistic i think we're gonna end up getting some pretty great maps for hardpoint for headquarters for headquarters for ctf whatever the third game mode ends up being and i think it's gonna be a pretty fun year overall and again search is gonna be really really fun this game so thank you guys for watching i really appreciate you guys checking it out i i truly really do the support means a lot to me i'm trying to do this full time and i cannot do that without you guys so i really really do appreciate it again Drop all your opinions on the next community tournament. Hop in the Discord if you guys want to talk more about it as well. And I'll be streaming in an hour or two after this video goes up. So be on the lookout for that. But as always, guys, I'm Boyce Facially, and we'll see you next time. I'm out.